Hi everyone, thanks for being here today. I'm Ekfer and today we're going to be looking at one wide tileable logic gates in Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. And these are um, well, my invention actually. So I don't think um, these have existed before. I don't think anyone's done these one wide tileable logic gates. So um, keep watching and you'll see what it's all about. Okay, so let's dive straight in. <laughs> So the first logic gate we're going to do is called a buffer, and it's the simplest logic gate that there is, because all it does is it transmits the signal you put in. So if I've got a lever here, which is a moment it's off, then my light is off, and if I turn it on, my light comes on. That is not very exciting, is it? But that is a buffer. Um, the next one is only a little bit more difficult, and this is a not gate. So the knock gate basically inverts the signal that you put in. So when my lever is off, I get an output. When my lever is on, I get no output. So um, that's really simple. You just use a torch to invert the signal, and that's your not gate. Right, so the next one we're going to do is the and gate. And typically in Minecraft, you would build this like so. Uh, you'd have two torches, a piece of dust in between them another torch here and that's your output like so and what happens is that when you um, turn off one torch the dust stays lit so nothing happens you turn off the other torch same again but if you turn off both torches the output comes on so that's with your a input and your b input both on both torches go off and the output comes on because this torch now can light so that's the standard way of doing it. Obviously, it's uh, not one wide tileable. And we are making one wide tileable ones. And it's not very complicated, actually, the AND gate. So let's build up like this. This is going to be our A input and our B input. And we're going to put torches here and here. This is going to be a piece of obsidian because we're going to place a, um, a piston now. And this relies on a mechanic in Bedrock called soft inversion, where a piston with a torch on it will um, turn that torch off if it's powered. So you see these two torches are both powering this piston at the moment, and so the output is off. And that's an AND gate now, actually. So let me put a, a lamp here. And if I turn this one on, nothing happens because it's still powered here. If I turn this one on, Nothing happens. And it's only if I turn both on that this torch can light and get an output. So that is your one wide tileable AND gate. And we can turn that into a NAND gate, which is basically the inverse of an AND gate, as simply as this. Um, so let me put my lamp here now. So now you can see with both A input and B input turned on, I get no output. And in all other cases, I will get an output. So that's an AND gate. So next we'll move on to the OR gate. And in um, standard logic gates, that's super simple. It's um, a basically a line of redstone dust with two inputs. And I can place my output there. So if either of these are on, so that one A or B is on, or both, I get an output, and it turns off if and only if both my outputs are off. So that is really simple. However, um, in our one wide tileable form, it's a little bit more complicated. So let's start off with our A input up here, B here, and we are going to invert those and then i'm going to place um do, 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 some obsidian just here oops here and i'm going to have a piston facing down this way and a piston facing up this way so they're being powered by these two torches i then can put my excess of torches here and come out again, place another piston again into the same block of obsidian with a, another torch on it. So, don't need that one. 
So what's that give me? Um, at the moment, you can see with both inputs off, um, I've got the output is turned on. In fact, let's put a, a lamp here. If I turn one of these on, the output goes off. Same there. And if they're both on, the output stays off as well. So that isn't an OR gate. Actually, what this is, is a NOR gate. So it's the inverse. So to get an OR gate, what we need to do is invert the output again. We'll do that really simply like this. And now if I turn on my A input, I get an output. My B input, I get an output. Or both, I get an output. And when both off, it goes off. So this is an OR gate. This, if I just take the output from here, take this away, just put my lamp there. This is a NOR gate. Okay, so let's pop that back for now. We'll have the OR gate version. That's your OR gate. Right, so the last two logic gates on our list, uh, XOR and XNOR. So XOR is a gate which will um, give an output when only one of the inputs is turned on. So if they're both turned on or both turned off, it won't give an output. Um, and if one is on and the other is off, then it will give an output. And typically you might build this like this. There's more than one way to build um, an XOR gate in Minecraft, but this is one way. And if I put my output just here, uh, where's my lamp gone? Pop a lamp down here. Thank you. Um, then you'll see that it's off. If I turn this on, the lamp comes on. If I turn this one on, the lamp comes on. But if they're both on, it'll go off. Oh, sorry. It would do if I had these on subtract mode, which I need to be. Right. So yeah, so one, either one of these inputs is on, the lamp comes on. If they're both on or both off, the lamp is off. And I can turn this into an XNOR, XNOR gate by just inverting the output like this. And obviously, um, you'll see that that's the opposite way around to what we had before. OK, so that's your standard XOR, XNOR gate. It's not one wide tileable. And um, I don't think there has ever been a one wide tileable XNOR gate in Minecraft until this one I'm about to show you. So um, let's start here and we'll do our inputs again. So A input, B input. I'm gonna put some obsidian here because I want to have a piston there. I also want a piston pointing up above that. So I'll need some obsidian there. And then I've got to dig down because I want a piston facing down here. Do some gardening. Put the obsidian underneath this piston. And I can take this out and I can now put in my torches. So there, there, and here, here, and here. And actually this first bit up to this torch here, so these three blocks the piston and this torch is the AND gate we saw earlier. Uh, and then I'm taking it back into these other two pistons. And from there, I then need to run a repeater here. Repeater here. That's going to go into a block and another block. Oh, in fact, actually, thinking about it, that needs to be obsidian and a final piston here. So I put my repeater back. And now if I put a torch on there, this is an XNOR gate. So it's not XOR, it's XNOR. So uh, you see the output is on at the moment with both these off. And if I turn either one of them on, the output should go off. Let's put a lamp there. turn this one on, the lamp goes off. If they 
both go on, the lamp comes back on again. So that's an X NOR gate. And again, I could do exactly what I did before. I just want to invert that. So pop a torch here. And now I have a XOR gate. So if either input is on, remember, but not both, then I get an output. So here's my A. Here's my B. But if it's A and B, then it goes off again. So that is your one wide tileable XOR gate. And that pretty much covers it. So we've done um, eight logic gates, as I mean, you know, including the buffer. Um, there's seven main logic gates that are typically used in Minecraft, and you have all of them there in one wide tileable form. So I'm actually starting a new playlist to cover um, Minecraft computing stuff. So things like these logic gates. And I've got quite a few other things I've been working on. So I will start a new playlist. If you're interested, then think about subscribing to the channel to keep an eye out for those videos coming out. All right. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.